Hi beauties. It's me. Trailer life. So I finally went to, I went to decided to do a video. So this is a cargo trailer that I'm in now. Welcome to me home. It's a small unit, but it works for me. I just put the fabric on the walls to, you know, feel homely and not like an actual trailer. Have my little words over there, words of inspiration over there. Little hanger. It has a full size refrigerator in it. And this is the kitchenette area. Um, he just brought the AC unit um, a few weeks ago. Works really good. Portable AC unit. And this is how I closed the deal. I've been here since October. But when I turned around and I saw this, it looks just like my black bike <laughs> that I had, remember? Um, I knew that it was me. So this is a kitchen area. No actual stove in here. Um, the ex hubby just gave me the microwave and this is the kitchen sink area. I actually just finished cooking out so I have some salmon here. I'll set that here but this is where I do the dishes. This is the um, so I just have this little bowl in here. That was, I had some fruit earlier and then this is a five gallon. Yeah I know what this is a water tank because there's no running water in here. So I'm still partially off grid on grid. It came with the um, air fryer and let me see down here. I just got this cart because he had like some milk crates in here. So I just got that cart from James. It has a electrical outlet on the side too. So I have the food down there, my little trash can. Because we don't keep big trash cans in these space, small spaces. Um, my dishes. This is a little heater that actually I used in the winter time. It worked very well. I, I was using this single top electric stove. But it burnt out on me yesterday. So I need to get another one. Um, my extra waters for filling up my sink. This is a Yita Home sink and toilet combo so there is a house um, the man who owns the house he owns this trailer it's right behind the house um, so I dump the toilet in the and then I take it to the house but this is a Yita home and you just that's how you get your water out it has a pump of course keep baby wipes y'all know me I need to take that outside keep your baby wipes nearby y'all know me up here I have soap sanitizer uh, incense type of things um, I have some curtains hanging up on this side just for a little decoration because as you can see the walls are not painted um, I still am a bougie trailer life gal y'all know how I was with van life still got to keep it clean so I have this coat hanger over here with this clothes that's my closet so um, shoes down there and then TV, the TV and the stand came with the unit. And then the bed, it's a futon bed. Excuse the stuff that I have on the bed. I was just kind of just some writing and some reading. My laptop, a second laptop is down there. I mainly use this laptop, but I use this when I'm doing some recording and stuff like that. Personals are down there at the bottom. Um, the ottoman has some clothes in it not another seating area and it has a screen door on it so as you can see there's no windows in here um he was going to build a window but you know with winter time i was like i don't really need one i plan on rocking this lifestyle out for a year because i want to see if um the homestead life is what i want to be about um he built the fence a few weeks ago maybe last month and then I started adding a little garden I had a fire last night and the ex hubby gave me the grill over there um, I've been doing some bike riding because I ended up getting on this birth control so that my menstruals would be like 
not so strong and that double shot blew me up yes I have an iron because y'all know me I'm still going to make sure that I'm cute and clean in this lifestyle so yes yeah, so this is it um, this is a new home I've been here since October and I plan on being here until November but we shall see it could be longer because I do like it it's it's perfect for me it's a great space for me the toilet situa situation is not a big deal for me I lived in the van for three years I actually this toilet I wish I had this in a van house but you know just take it to the bathroom and dump but you look up you the home and then you can see how it works but the um, the water from the sink goes down into the top of the toilet so then you can flush it that's the that's the flush right there you flush open the handle everything goes down at the bottom there um so yeah so welcome to Mikasa I'm still doing it y'all I'm still in the lifestyle I'm more in some Facebook groups for um I'm in some Facebook groups for homestead community. I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. These people out here hunting their own rabbits and chopping them up and wearing the fur and just professionals out here. So I'm like, well, shoot. Because I still want to get some land and build on my land. So I'm really trying to see if this is really a lifestyle that I want and I like it you know I'm a basic chick and I don't mind being a basic chick maybe one day I'll be a luxurious chick but right now I enjoy my freedom I enjoy my time I enjoy my space and my energy the boys are good the family is good so this is what I've been doing this is what I've been up to so yeah you see like the walls I don't really like that look it looks not as bad on the camera but still and but it's a cargo you know trailer so I'm like hey and I think he was using this he said as a storage unit before he decided to rent it out I'm the first person who's actually lived in it that he was renting it as a storage unit that he was gonna make it his office space but um, so yeah so it's this is where I'm at and it's cool. Gotta get another stove. Anybody wants to send me a stove, that'd be cool. P.O. Box 91229, Columbus, Ohio, 43209. I'll take another electric range stove. The single top is fine because it actually fit perfectly over there. But he has some rose bushes in the front. So I got myself a couple of roses today. But yeah, usually the single top stove would be go be right over there. But yeah, and then um need to I'm gonna make a smoothie from with those but and then so this is really my counter space here um, my little chopping block that a girlfriend of mine gave me and um, dinner so that's some salmon and I did some veggies and yeah salmon and veggies and then the corn on the cob so but yeah this is it Hi, I love you all. I appreciate you. You already know. So I'm still living the lifestyle. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the channel. I know you are like, well, I mean, there's not much you can see in here. So there's no point of me doing trailer life videos. Do y'all want to see trailer life videos? Don't really know what to show you. You know how to use the toilet theme. Um, and you make it work. This is just, you know, this is normal for us us type of peoples but I'm really loving my little yard he has um, three other residents who live in the house and have rent rooms y'all know me when it comes to noise when it comes to yeah no I don't want to live in I don't want to live in the house I like it right back here it's a huge yard he has back here. So this is my yard within his huge yard. And then right there is a mulberry mulberry tree. He sent me some recipes about mulberries last, last week. But he's a cool black guy. And guess how much I pay? 
<laughs> Nowhere near rent amount. <laughs> All right, let me know what y'all think, what y'all want me to do. I don't know what to do with the channel. <laughs> I'm thinking about going on and just deleting it. You know, I know I have hundreds of fan life videos, but let me know. I love y'all and I miss y'all. Peace and love. Let me see if I can turn the camera around so you can see me. No, when it's on video, I can't really turn it around. But this is me. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I put on some weight. They're going to shot. Ah! <laughs> All right, peace and love.